Good morning, 5F. Welcome to Wednesday, another day of distance learning. Got my new hat on for our newest morning meeting. Uh, hopefully you did well in that little uh, baby guessing game and guessed a lot of those pictures correctly. Those would have been some of the pictures that would have been on our TVs over the next couple of weeks, so I figured I'd show them to you that way. We're going to start our morning today with our traditional morning stuff. 5F's traditional, traditional morning stuff. All right, so we'll start with our weird facts of the day. Today we got uh, about five of them, and here they, here they are. Where's my bookmark here? All right, first one. Uh, it says a tiger can eat more than 80 pounds of meat in one sitting. It's disturbing, but it makes sense. Uh, most people spend about five years of their lives eating. If you tally up all the minutes that you spent eating, five years. A hippo can run as fast as a human, at least as fast as this human. Uh, a man hiccuped for 68 years straight. Meteorites the size of basketballs land on Earth about once a month. Nighttime rainbows are called moonbows. Sounds like the coolest thing ever. And enough whipped cream is manufactured every year to crisscross the United States five times. There you have it. That is our weird facts of the day. Now, our would you rather today Obviously, you can't answer. You can think about it, but I'll answer for you. It says, would you rather only be able to use your feet when typing or only be able to use vowels? Would you rather only be able to use your feet to type or only be able to use vowels? Now, I thought about this one, and the answer after a while became pretty clear. I'd rather just use my feet. I mean, if you could only use vowels, A-E-I-O-U, to type there would be no use typing. You couldn't um, communicate that way, uh, certainly not productively. So I would have to train myself to use my feet. It reminds me that when I went to college uh, at Wheaton, there was a girl there who had lost her arms. And what was remarkable about her girl, this girl named Anna, was she learned to do everything that a normal person could do with just her feet. She could she, she'd sit at the dining hall and use her feet and toes to pick up and eat from her table. She learned to drive a car. It had to be a specially made car, but she could drive. She could handwrite with her feet beautifully, like better than uh, anybody I know in terms of like their, their handwriting. Uh, so it was remarkable, and I, that's one of those things that I'm sure Anna could do just fine after years of practice was to type. So that'd be my choice. I would type with my feet. There you have it. That is Wednesday's 5F Morning Stuff. That was our morning stuff. All right, to take attendance today, I want to do things a little bit differently. Uh, yesterday, I introduced to you the idea that you're going to have uh, email available to you, and um, I asked you to go into Google Classroom and fill out those forms with your parents. So if you haven't done that, please do that this morning, like right after this video. Uh, but I'd also like for you today to email me. This uh, accomplished a couple things. Number one, it'll just test to make sure that you know how to send an email from your Gmail account. Uh, two, it'll make sure that everything's working okay. And then three, um, it's a way for me to sort of take attendance uh, that you've seen this video. So uh, if you would go either into Google Classroom and send an email from there, or go to your app chooser, choose Gmail, and email me from there. Again, my email would be uh, nsuite at lhprep.org or nsuite at lhps.org. Um, I'll give you a little tutorial reminder right now. So I'm going to start by going to Google Classroom. I'm going to go up to the People tab here, click on that, and now you should see that all, all of the people in our class are listed, including some teachers and administrators, and by my name, you should see a little email button. Now I'm in as me, so I can't email myself, but that's how you do it. Um, same way to email each other. For me, it looks a little different, so I would hit that and then hit email student, and now I'm opening my Gmail account and I can send email to Jackson in this case. So that's, uh, it already puts you know the name in there. I could give it a title and then um, you know type my message and then hit send and off it goes. So uh, that's your challenge for today. Send me an email either through Google Classroom 
Or if you'd rather, you can go to the little app switcher here and choose Gmail, and then it'll take you into your traditional uh, email application. You want to compose an email right here. And <clears throat> taking its sweet time, but when we compose an email, it opens a little window here. And this is where you would type nsuite at LHPS or nsuite at LHPrep, either one. Send uh, maybe, you know, test or message, uh, test or whatever, and then send me a message and hit send. So that's, uh, that's your task for today. So get on it. All right, that's about it for today's morning meeting. I do want to leave you with a reminder that tomorrow, the first third of you are going to bring your stuffed animal, your, uh, your binky, your blanky, your whatever you had as a little kid that made you feel uh, warm and fuzzy. Try to bring that to the meeting and just do a quick introduction to it. I'm gonna start right now by introducing Moose. I don't know that he had any other name other than Moose, but he's survived, he's with me. Uh, I loved Moose for a long, long time. At one point I even bought my wife a second Moose, but this big chubby guy with the big nose isn't nearly as endearing to my heart as the original Moose. So this is my, my uh, comfort item. Uh, anyway, bring yours first third of the class. Uh, I think it was alphabetically through Henry tomorrow, and then we'll do the rest uh, down the line. That's it for today, though. I hope you have a great Wednesday. 5F, stay smooth. <laughs>